guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and today is going to be the last video of our Thanksgiving prep. I'm going to give you a little closer look at the inside of my Thanksgiving planner, but I'm going to show you guys the photo on the front and up close. Okay. So, again, I'm going to have to replace this binder with a larger one because as time goes by, this is going to get full way too fast and I'm going to have another binder explosion and I don't want that. But today I want to talk to you guys and I've taken this out of its sleeve because I didn't want it to um, be, you know, the light reflects the sleeve, see, because it's plastic. So... I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about a cooking schedule. Now every Thanksgiving I always have to arrange kind of in my mind um, all the items that I can make a day in advance or sometimes even two days in advance and that is going to be what you see there at the top of my, uh, my sheet. I've got my making salad, I'll be doing drinks and ice, I'll make my cheese balls, and my pie dough. And those are the items for Thanksgiving that I can actually make ahead. Now, if there are items that are in the freezer, I also need to consider taking my, um, my turkey out and putting it in the refrigerator early so that it's fully thawed. Um, you don't want to end up with a frozen turkey on Thanksgiving Day. And then we also want to, um, I'll have like, you know, bread frozen and things like that uh, for my stuffing, things that I'll put away at um, this time for Thanksgiving. So I'll want to make sure that I lay all of that out on the 23rd um, and do the turkey way earlier than the 23rd. So then on Thanksgiving Day, um, so depending on what time you all like to eat, some people eat, you know, lunchtime, sometimes it's more um, around dinner. This year I'm shooting for noon. The reasoning behind that is because I have one son that still will have to go to work that evening. And that way we have a little time, more time I should say, to relax and kick back on Thanksgiving Day. But my morning is going to start at 6.30 in the morning. And that is when my turkey will go in the oven. Now the night before, um, and I know I don't have it down on the 23rd, it's kind of like a no-brainer that the turkey is the main course and you got to make sure he's ready. Um, so it will already be in the baking bag, it will be seasoned, and it will be ready to go into the oven that morning. So all I have to do is turn my oven on and place the bird inside. At 7 o'clock, I will be making my bread dough. I will make my dinner rolls. If you all have not seen that video, I will uh, put it down below for you guys. It is a definitely a win-win for Thanksgiving Day. At 8 o'clock, my stuffing goes into the crock pot because it won't take as long as the turkey does. At 8.30, and also to keep in mind that I am writing this time schedule with the thought that I'm going to have about a 20 pound turkey. That's usually what I purchase as a 20 pound turkey. So, you know, I'm looking at 15 minutes a pound. So you guys know how this is all uh, getting written out. So then, uh, let's see, 8.30, I'm gonna peel and cube potatoes and put it on water. At 9 o'clock, um, my bread dough should be risen, and then I'll punch it back down, and then I will make my bread rolls. At 10 o'clock, the appetizers will come out. And uh, let's see, 11 o'clock, green beans on, and uh, potatoes on because the potatoes will have to boil. 11.30, the turkey comes out. And I will tell you, I will have extra hands in the kitchen at this point. 
so it kind of goes really really fast <laughs> rolls go in and they take anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes so those go in gravy goes on because I use the drippings from the turkey to make my gravy and so I will get the drippings off and start the gravy which does not take me any time at all to make and then Scott usually carves the turkey then I the last thing I will do is mash the potatoes and we are ready to eat at 12 o'clock at 2 o'clock I will start making desserts and I will be making two desserts this year I will be making apple roses with caramel sauce and I will also be making uh, mini mason jar pies and I did do a video I'm not sure when I'll be releasing it, but it's a cook with me video where I make mason jar pies for the first time. Um, I think it's very important that you all do not put anything on your um, menu that you have not ever made. Or at least give it a test run before you go making it for a house full of people um, because it can mess up on you and recipes can be touchy. <laughs> So um, I did make the mason jar pies and then now I know what I need not to do and what I need to do. Planner. Um, just to remind that I got the cover photo made from Walgreens and then we open it up and in here we have my meal plan for Thanksgiving and I'm sorry about the glare we have my meal plan for Thanksgiving as well as on the back we have my grocery list so I'll be taking this to go to the store and I will buy everything except for uh, the turkey I will hold off and actually purchase that between you know like the second week of November probably towards the end um, whenever they uh, will go on sale I've got these really cute uh, dividers in here and I have not divided up main dishes or um, desserts but later I will when I get a larger binder but they have these really cute sayings in here I've really um, enjoyed these and they're very colorful now I have all of my recipes and so we start off with my dinner roll recipe and we go into um, pumpkin bread and then we have uh, cream cheese pumpkin roll I cannot live without the cream cheese pumpkin roll I've got a pumpkin dump cake I've got my apple crisp in here and you notice because I'm visually impaired that um, I have all of my recipes in extra large print which I printed out and typed myself my freezer apple pie filling I've got apple roses that's something I'm going to be making this year um, let's see what we have here uh, this is my harvest cheese ball that I'll be making this year that will be delicious I've got my slow cooker stuffing and these are my mason jar uh, pie recipe that um, I just acquired very fall and Thanksgiving like um, recipes in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this into the sleeve and place it in the front uh, and um, that way all of it's together in my binder but I hope you all have enjoyed seeing how I prep for Thanksgiving and I hope you all have a lovely holiday with your friends and family if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and give this video a thumbs up I hope you all have a blessed day and I will be talking to you all again soon bye bye